hi everyone welcome to my channel bot new tutorial in this session i would like to explain eight nucleate embryo sacs in tetrasporic type this class is the continuation of previous type previous class in the previous video i explained already uh, 16 nucleate type in um, uh, tetrasporic type 16 nucleate embryo sacs in tetrasporic type in this session i am explaining eight nucleate embryo sacs in tetrasporic type this type of embryo sacs are found in fritillaria plumbago and adaxa fritillaria plumbago and adaxa in the, in that first one is fritillaria type fritillaria type is first observed in fritillaria bulbifera fritillaria bulbifera how the embryo sac development takes place in this fritillaria bulbifera i would like to explain by using diagrams okay first what happens in the megaspore mother cell this is megaspore mother cell megaspore mother cell undergoes meiotic division resulting in the formation of four megaspore nuclei out of these four megaspore nuclei one nuclei one nucleus present towards the micropyle and remaining three lie towards the chalaja chalaja okay this arrangement is called one plus three arrangement one plus three arrangement next what happens means uh, this this four nucleated megaspore is called sino megaspore this have one at uh, micropylar side and remaining three are present towards the chalaja the chalagel nuclei the three chalagel nuclei fuse together to form a triploid nucleus a triploid nucleus are you understand the three nuclei present towards the chalaja are fused to form a triploid nucleus now in the sino megaspore total two nuclei are present one is haploid in condition another one is triploid in condition this triploid nucleus is present towards the chalaja and haploid nucleus present towards the micropyle then one mitotic division occur in these two nuclei resulting in the formation of four nuclei of which two are present towards the micropyle and remaining two are present towards the chalaja next second mitotic division one more mitotic division occur in these four nuclei as a result eight nuclei are formed out of which four are present towards the micropyle and remaining four are present towards the chalaja then out of four at micropylar side three are organized to form egg operators egg operators this egg operators consist of uh, two synergids these two are synergids and one egg cell and remaining one nucleus act as upper polar nuclei coming to chalaja side out of four nuclei three nuclei form developed their cross walls and they are organized to form antipodals remaining one nucleus act as lower polar nuclei then after the upper and lower polar nuclei migrates into the center and fuse to form secondary nucleus this secondary nucleus is in tetraploid condition because the lower polar nuclei is triploid condition and upper polar nuclei is in haploid condition 3 plus 1 total 4 uh, that's why the secondary nucleus is in tetraploid condition okay this is about fritillaria type of embryo sac development okay are you understand next 
coming to next one plumbago type plumbago type it was first identified in plumbago that's why it is called plumbago type in this what happens first the megaspore mother cell megaspore mother cell undergoes meiotic division resulting in the formation of four megaspore nuclei these four nuclei are arranged in 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 manner 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 manner that means one nucleus is present towards the micropyle one present at chalaja and remaining two are present at lateral sites okay then what happens the uh, one uh, one mitotic division occur in these four nuclei resulting in the formation of eight nuclei out of eight two are present towards the micropyle and two are at chalaja and four are at lateral sites okay the two nuclei at micropylar end are out of two one act as egg cell that forms egg cell by the formation of cell wall around it remaining one nucleus remaining one nucleus act as upper polar nuclei then this upper polar nuclei migrates into the center and from the lower side from the chalajal side one nuclei from this lateral side from this lateral side two lateral nuclei are migrated into the center of the embryo sac and then they are fused to form tetraploid secondary nucleus tetraploid secondary nucleus and remaining three nuclei developed uh, cross walls around them and they are present as cells they act as only cells and they are degenerated at later stages are you understand in this embryo sac there are no synergids synergids are completely absent okay next secondary nucleus is in tetraploid condition tetraploid secondary nucleus and synergids are absent in this plumbago type okay next one third one that is adaxotype adaxotype this was first discovered in adaxa mascatellina adaxa mascatellina that's why it is called as adaxotype okay in this what happens megaspore mother cell undergoes meiotic division resulting in the formation of four megaspore nuclei of which two are lie at micropyle and remaining two are present at chalaja chalajal side two nuclei are present and micropyle side two nuclei are present next one more mitotic division occur in this in these nuclei resulting in the formation of eight nuclei of which four are present at micropyle and remaining four are chalajal side out of four three nuclei of micropyle end are organized into egg operators in which one egg cell is present and two synergids are present remaining one nucleus acts as upper polar nuclei coming to chalaja four nuclei are present out of which three nuclei form its uh, cell wall around them and they are developed into antipodals antipodals okay remaining one nuclei act as lower polar nuclei this upper and lower polar nuclei migrates into the center and fuse it to form diploid secondary nucleus okay are you understand in this type in this adaxotype diploid secondary nucleus is present three antipodal cells are present two synergids are present on the either side of egg cell okay this is about eight nucleated type in tetrasporic embryo sac development next 
coming to last one four nucleate embryo sac in tetrasporic type why it is called four nucleate embryo sac because in mature embryo sac four nuclei are present that's why it is called four nucleate embryo sac type okay in this type only single example is there that is plumbagella type plumbagella type it was first discovered in plumbagella micrantha that's why it is called plumbagella type okay coming to development first what happened the megaspore mother cell undergoes meiotic division resulting in the formation of four megaspore nuclei of of four one nucleus is present towards the micropyle and remaining three nuclei are present towards the chalaja okay chalajal side three nuclei are present micropylar side one nucleus is present then what happens means three nuclei present at chalajal end fuse together to form a triploid nucleus that means micropyloid side single haploid nucleus is present and chalajal side single triploid nucleus is present single triploid nucleus is present then these two nuclei undergoes one mitotic division resulting in the formation of four nuclei of four two nuclei are present at chalajal side and remaining two are present at micropylar side micropylar side two nuclei and chalajal side two nuclei are present next what happens means out of two nuclei one nucleus form cell wall around it and organized into egg operators that means single egg cell is present in the egg operators okay remaining one nucleus act as upper polar nuclei next coming to chalajal side two nuclei are present out of which one is organized into antipodal cell and remaining one nucleus act as lower polar nuclei this upper and lower polar nuclei migrate into the center and fuse together to form tetraploid secondary nucleus tetraploid secondary nucleus that means in plumba plumbagella type only single antipodal cell is present and single egg cell is present towards the micropyle and in the center of the embryo sac a tetraploid secondary nucleus is present this is about tetrasporic embryo sac development in the next video i will come with another chapter thank you for watching my video